Hi, my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician and today I'm going to tell you how to convert millimeters to meters by moving the decimal. So the first thing I'm going to show you is just a little mnemonic I want you to remember. King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. And what these letters all stand for is the prefixes kilo, hecto, deca, unit, deci, centi, and milli. So since we wanted to do millimeters, I'm going to write that down because that one's important. When I say unit, I can be talking about three different things. If I'm measuring units of distance, then I'm talking about meters. If I'm measuring units of weight, then I'm talking about grams. And if I'm measuring units of volume, then I'm talking about liters. Okay, so units can be milliliters, deciliters, milligrams, kilograms, kiloliters, anything in that range. So you want it to go from milliliters to meters. So what you need to do is count how many spaces it takes you to get from M to you. Now don't put your finger here and count that as one. You have to count every loop that you take. So we're going to go like this. One, two, three. It took me three spaces to get from M to you. I went one, two, three. And which way did I go? I went to the left. So that means that when you go to convert milliliters to meters, millimeters to meters, you're going to go three spaces to the left. So if you had, for example, 15 millimeters, I'm going to take the decimal in 15, which you know that when you don't have one, you just put it right after the last number, and I'm going to go three spaces left. One, two, three. And then any empty space is going to be filled in with a zero. So that means that 15 millimeters is equal to 0 0.015 meters. And that is how you convert milliliters to meters by moving the decimal.